Hey guys, Asus from Lowcode here. Today I wanted to show you a very large app that we recently built. Uh, it's an app that allows you to keep track of your uh, emotional health. Uh, so there are a lot of resources and events and there's an education section. There's a daily report tab where you can keep track of how you feel every day. Uh, so yeah, let's jump right in. It'll be a long video, but I hope you enjoy it. We're using a lot of new features that Glide recently launched. So as usual, we have a sign up tab. So users login with their email address and then they end up here, right? There's nothing else they can do. However, usually the sign up tab, the only step that we have is for users to create their profile. In this case, the client wanted the user to be able to see a little bit more of the app before they actually created the profile. So we have a how to use the app button. So we have a link to the FAQ, something like that. We have a link to sample content, which is something very unique and very cool. So the user that has created a profile yet can see how many users, how many current users the app has in order to entice that user to create a profile and log in. They can only also see uh, a bunch of upcoming events. So you can click event and see the details, the Zoom link, and you have a button to add this event to your calendar or to your Google Calendar or iPhone or whatever, right? Uh, you have a bunch of testimonials as well in terms of what people have been, uh, what their experience has been in terms of how the app has worked for them. You also have a list of content, so sample content here, like videos, audio files you can share, rate them, and, and etc. And uh, at the end, the call to action, create your profile. So actually either from this link or from this button, users can create the profile. We have a unique layout in Glide. So you choose, in this case, the idea of the app is that it's anonymous. So you don't have to add your name. You can add an alias, right? So let's say that I add this as an alias. And then the other cool thing is that this app is a software as a service. So our client is selling access to this app to businesses, to companies. So only if you have the right company code you will be able to create your profile. Otherwise, you can't. For example, if, so let's say I try to log in with this code and then it doesn't match. I cannot, I won't be able to create my profile because this is a wrong company, company code. However, let's find out Google. There we go. So Google is an approved company code and then I can move on forward. So I choose my position. So we have a list of, of options here. And then I can add my phone number. The other cool thing, since we are using an alias, uh, we don't want users to upload a picture. So we are generating an avatar automatically on the back end with an API. And then we show this avatar and then that's a picture of the user. So you see the checklist. I have added my name, my company code, my company position, and then take me in. So users end up in their home screen. So I can always come back to my profile. I can edit my image so I can reshuffle, save this new image. So pretty cool setup with an untraditional way of having images. Uh, so back to the home tab, the first thing that we want users to is to go through this flow. So people are filling out this questionnaire with emojis. So it's simpler for them. And then based on that, we assign users a score and each emoji has a numeric value linked to that. So we know your stress level. So every day you check in on this tab. And then here we have a log of your check-ins. And then you can see your, like a chart in terms of how stressed you've been for the last few days. You can see your last uh, check-ins, right? We have a tab for content. Uh, so. We have new content, so the admin is creating new content and it shows up here at the top. And then down here we have the categories separated by this pretty cool image. And then for the category, we'll have the details and then the content. So you can see that each user has its own journey inside of the app. So you can see here that these two content pieces are pending for me, right? So I can see the video. We have an average rating from all users. So I can rate this piece of content, then submit. Um, I cannot rate anymore, so just one rating per user. I can share this link for someone else to someone else, and then I can submit or mark this uh, 
activity has done, right? So on the back end, the admin is creating a questionnaire for each piece of content. Then I can upload a photo, a file, write something. So I have to add something, a file or a photo. So I'll just choose something here and we'll move on to the next part. So I upload a file and then I click submit. And then the status of this piece of content will change from pending to uh, submitted or something. So uh, we can come back and review what I have posted. And then here you can see that I have completed this first piece of content. So uh, that's a whole content piece. Then we have an events tab. So you can see upcoming events and past events. For past events, you have you, the admin can add a link to, to the recording. So here, like the replay, they will upload the replay to YouTube or something. And upcoming events, instead of showing that, we show the Zoom link. And then, as usual with developer apps, users can add this event to their calendar so that they get reminders from their Google Calendar or Apple Calendar. We have the education module, like an LMS, so divided by modules, and then each module has a bunch of lessons, and then we have a progress bar. So the same setup as content, you can see the, 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 the lesson in this case, see the video, listen to the file, download it, see the video, uh, listen to the audio book or whatever, download a file, and then you can mark this as completed, pretty simple, and then you move on to the next, and then we keep track of how advanced are you in each of the modules. Finally, we have the emotional support tab. So each company, in this case, I work at Google, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Google. So Google has a bunch of experts that are available for the user to help them regarding their emotional support, right? So I can see the available uh, experts that are in the app, and then I can start a chat with them. So I write like an intro message here, click send, and then we connect those two users and we can have a chat here. So pretty nice setup. Your writer coming here, click submit, and then we have a chat down here. So I click submit and then we have, of course, anonymous because you, uh, we are not showing the experts my name or my picture, right? So it's an anonymous and then if I want to uh, move a step further, then I can set up a calendar link or I, schedule, I can schedule a, a time slot with this expert using calendar. Finally, here we have the tech support. So you can submit a ticket in case something is not working in the app. And this opens your email platform so that you can send them an email. An email. Now, as an admin, I have a pretty large admin console, right? So we have a lot going on here. So I can manage my users so I can see how many current users are in the app right now, and I can see all of their details. So I can see my profile. I can make myself an expert. So if I'm an expert, then use, I will show up in the experts tab so that users can get in touch with me so that I can provide emotional support. I can make someone else an admin. I can edit their profile, change their picture. As an admin, I can also see how many activities each user has completed, and I can see the list of their check-ins. So if we like look at someone else, um, no reports to show, but let's say maybe this guy has, yeah. So this user just has one daily report, hasn't completed any daily activities. Uh, but for example, this user, yeah, one activity and no daily reports, right? So pretty simple setup so that the admin can see how the users are moving forward through the whole course. We can manage the categories. So right now we have these categories as an admin, you can create a new category, so a link description, picture, and then inside of each category, you can create content. So you click here, the floating button for a plus sign, and then you add a title, a description, a picture, and then you might want to add a video link or an audio file, like a PDF or some files that the users can download, and then the activity details. So remember that in each content piece, the users at the end have to do something. So these are the details linked to that, so that users can follow up and, and add a picture or of themselves doing something or a file or whatever. So pretty 
complex setup here for the categories and the actual content. Then we have the modules and the lessons. So we have a list of modules. Again, clicking the plus button, I add a new module. And inside of each module, I click the plus sign and add a new content piece or a lesson for that module. Uh, so that this is a dynam dynamic uh, tab where I can have multiple modules with multiple lessons each. Then we have our submission step. So every time a user submits something on a content piece, I keep track of that. So what's the best thing that happened today? So about this topic, this user added these comments and then we have a timestamp and the file that the user uploaded. So what's the best thing that happened today? And then submitted by Cecilia and then she added these comments and then the file. So as an admin, I will be able to see my users, how much they're using the app. We also have here the events tab. So you can see the upcoming events, the past events, and the sample events that we have for the users before they create their account. And I can create a new event. So I set the duration, the title, description, and the Zoom link. If the event is a past event based on the date, I can always come back and edit and add the replay link. So the YouTube link or the Vimeo link, whatever, and make this a set event so that users might or can see this even though they haven't logged in. Uh, we have here the resources tab. So some companies have uh, links to resources. So I would just add uh, the name in the description, a partner of the different companies that are using my app or are paying for the app, and then uh, the links and the address and all that. I can manage the FAQs, pretty simple. I can manage the testimonials from the users that are, we are showing on the before the users log in, and then I can manage the company. So this is where the admin of the app, when they sell this app for a company so that their employees can use the app, they just click here the plus sign, choose the company name or add a company name, company code, they can have a little logo and click submit. And then when the user, when the employee is logging in, they just need this code. And with this code, they will be able to log in and do the whole thing. So as you can see, it's a very large app, uh, but we can do a lot of low code. We've done over 210 Glide apps. We are a certified Glide Integra and partner, so we can automate all of this, create reports, create charts, PDFs, send emails. So yeah, get in touch with us and we can help you build a pretty cool app like this one. Have a great day.